Well, Claire Dunn says she was pulled from the lift car, grabbed by the neck, and thrown to the ground. All this happening on June 26th, but that suspect right there, Albert Boki, is now in custody, booked into the Metro jail just a couple hours ago. Metro police did issue an alert Monday night for him and said that he was wanted for that attack back on June 26th. Online court records show he has been charged with assault. Now, Claire Dunn says that she was picked up by this driver on June 26th over on First Avenue North in downtown for a ride back to her home. Now, when the driver missed the turn to her street, Dunn said she alerted the driver, who then became angry, pulled over on Highway 70 South, ripped her from the vehicle, assaulted her, then drove off. She did suffer some pretty serious injuries as a result, but has recovered, obviously just shaken up. Who is Claire Dunn, this glacier glider woman who was accosted severely by a sun man? Uber driver, ride share driver, maybe Lyft, whatever. <laughs> Who is Claire Dunn? So Claire is somebody. Could you imagine? And I really want to play this game with you, Chad. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if an R&B star a sister singer, Seven Streeter. <laughs> What's the other girl? Um, dang, man, I can't remember these girls' names. Um, but you know, her, H-E-R. There's another girl I'm trying to think of. Um, I forgot her name, but anyway. So many young sisters out here singing. Could you imagine a Glacier Glider, Uber driver, Lyft driver, whatever. She's mad because she, and of course, you know, probably rude. The, 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 the white girl is probably rude. And but still, you don't get to, you know. <laughs> only if you keep calling them the word, that word. <laughs> only if she said that word, then you could do anything. Then you know, say he could do anything and it'd be justified. Um, but just because she was rude, you don't get to do that. But could you imagine? Could you imagine one of these young? Ebony Divas have a situation like this with a glacier glide. Wow. Now listen, man. I'm sure this was a very terrifying experience for this woman. And being a country singer, I don't know if she's woke or not. She's from Colorado. So she's woke, but I don't know if she's publicly woke. You know, Claire Dunn. However, Claire, you got what's cooking, what's going on. You got what's happening. You got to see a front row seat of the only show in town, Broadway musical hit. called criminal justice reform, <laughs> called defund the police. You got a you got front row tickets to defund the police. The criminal justice reform. <laughs> and BLM. <laughs> front row tickets. Hope you enjoyed your show. Oh you didn't? Claire Dunn emotionally recounts the night she was assaulted by her Lyft driver. This has been hell. Well, Claire Dunn says she was pulled from the Lyft car, grabbed by the neck, and thrown to the ground. All this happening on June 26th, but that suspect right there, Albert Boki, 
is now in custody, booked into the Metro jail just a couple hours ago. Metro police did issue an alert Monday night for him and said that he was wanted for that attack back on June 26th. Online court records show he has been charged with assault. Now, Claire Dunn says that she was picked up by this driver on June 26th over on First Avenue North in downtown for a ride back to her home. Now, when the driver missed the turn to her street, Dunn said she alerted the driver, who then became angry, pulled over on Highway 70 South, ripped her from the vehicle, assaulted her, then drove off. She did suffer some pretty serious injuries as a result, but has recovered, obviously just shaken up. We just got this information from the booking office, so once we get more details, we will bring those to you on it. Now, who's this beautiful woman? Who's this beautiful New Jersey student? Samantha Josephson. Man gets life sentencing for killing New Jersey woman who mistook his car for an Uber. Now, why is that important? Because the way they phrased it, and this is all over the news, they phrased it this way. After she mistook his car for an Uber. No. After he stabbed her 120 times. After putting the child safety locks on and locking her in the car after she mistook his car for an Uber. <laughs> and then dumped her in the woods 65 miles away from where she disappeared. The reason they're referring to this is she mistook his car for an Uber. They're trying to sanitize it. They're not trying to let you know what really happened. This dude was lurking around the clubs for drunk women, unaware, ditzy women, one got in his car, he immediately put the child safety locks on, drove her 65 miles away, stabbed her 120 times, and dumped her in the woods. After, you know, making it do what it do. Many of us order a ride share after a long night out, but after police say a ride share driver assaulted country singer Claire Dunn, it puts a spotlight on safety. News Channel 5's Cena Sleem met up with the self-defense instructor as she demonstrates some techniques. Singer Claire Dunn ordered a ride share thinking that she would get home safely, but she tells us her driver got violent. Police say the Lyft driver and Dunn got into an argument over a missed turn back in June on Highway 70. Dunn now, a lot of people say, well, why was Claire so upset? This guy just missed the turn. Well, <laughs> they've got a ton of stories where Uber drivers have taken little pretty young things like her and missed the turn and ended up in some secluded, desolate area. And, you know, you know what happens next. So... I have to give her, if she was adamant or incensed when he missed the turn or nervous or, you know, dare I say scared, I can understand because you're a woman, it's late at night, <laughs> sun man's, you're this car with this sun man. Your house is like right there. He's like acting like he or he he drives right past it. He keeps going. You're like, wait a second. <laughs> What's going on here? So I totally understand that. Police say the Lyft driver and Dunn got into an argument over a missed turn back in June on Highway 70. Dunn told police he became very angry after missing the turn, stopped on the side of the road and forced her out of the car. She claims the driver grabbed her by the neck and threw her to the ground. The majority of people are really great, but there might be someone, as we see constantly on the news. Right? Lisette Delgado Fitzgerald is the president of the nonprofit Assert Empowerment Self Defense. She says if you have a bad feeling in a ride share, share your ride location with a friend. Try to end the ride early or try to ask the driver a few questions. 
Engaging someone in conversation slows down their reaction time, but it gives you time to interview this person and find out what exactly is going on. Like, does this person intend me harm? Do I feel comfortable with this, etc.? So that maybe you can call for help. If things take a violent turn, or if you know they're trying to harm you. From here, things I can do. I can reach around the front. Like I said, if you have a, you know, your purse has a long strap or something, maybe you have a scarf, whatever it is, come around. From the caddy corner seat, which is mo where most of us tend to, tend to come into the car, immediately turn around. Your legs reach that driver from that position. Delgado Fitzgerald says if the driver puts his hands around your neck. If he's coming from my throat here, the first thing I'm going to do is, depending on height difference, I might hit low. Delgado Fitzgerald says hopefully we never have to use this self-defense techniques, but it's always a good idea to have them handy just in case. Sina Sleem, News Channel 5. Good advice. The Lyft driver was arrested Monday and is currently free on bond. You can... <laughs> Hit one of you surprised that in this racist country where you, a black man, can't even do nothing to you. You, you get killed for whistling at a, at a white woman. You hear the, the sudden people in the sector of YouTube was talking about how dangerous. <laughs> they lynch you. You looking at a Listen, man. Brother home, man. Brother, old oh, man, he did that to that country singer, and he's home immediately. He ain't even get to make no friends. He wasn't in jail long enough to meet nobody. Yo, oh, man. Cut this talk about racism and all of you. He would have did that to a... <laughs> Dry that with a white... No, no, no. This always happens to white women. This always happens to white women. By you know who. All the time. All the time. And they get out the next day or the same day. Stop the talk about the BS rate. No, it's not racist. No. And even if, and here's the thing, if he was kept, that wouldn't be racist. <laughs> if he was still, if that Uber driver was still in jail until his trial date, his court date, that wouldn't be racist. So this, base, let me change this. It's so not racist. The judicial system is so not racist. So Claire, in honor of Claire, there was a Nita Baker song back in the day. That's my favorite singer from the 80s. Nita Baker. She had a song. You better watch your step. You fall and hurt yourself one day. <laughs> Claire. And all you other women out there, you better watch your step. You fall and hurt yourself one day. It's not safe out here. Period. 